geological time scale is a system used by geologists and paleontologists to describe the timing and relationships of events in Earth's history. It organizes Earth's history into various intervals based on significant geological and biological events. Understanding this scale is crucial for studying the evolution of life and the Earth's physical development. The geological time scale is divided into eons and eons further divided into eras. Each era contains distinct periods that reflect the evolution and extinction of various life forms. During Archeozoic era, Earth crust solidifies. Land continents formed from raised plates known as Precambrian shields. Great volcanic eruption happened. Shell protozoa, porifera, silent rates, flatworms and primitive annelids appeared in Proterozoic era. Repeated glaciation and volcanic eruption mark second great revolution. Then, Cambrian period initiated under Paleozoic era. During Cambrian period, marine vertebrates and fish were first appeared. Corals and trilobites are abundant, mollusks are diversified. Trilobites are excellent index fossil now. Trilobites are used to date and correlate rock layers because they are found globally, numerous, and diverse. Their rapid evolution and easily fossilized exoskeleton have led to a rich fossil record spanning the Paleozoic era. Climate became more warmer. Appalachian mountain revolution happened. Ordovician period showed abundant marine invertebrates. Ostracoderm appeared. Silurian period showed appearance of first insect and millipedes. Primitive arachnids and scorpions also appeared. Fish diversity increasing. Devonian was the age of fish and amphibian evolution also noticeable. In the late Paleozoic, age of ancient life, sea lilies were at their peak as per fossil records of Carboniferous period. Pennsylvanian period is called age of amphibians because of their tremendous diversity. Uniform climate throughout the world. Warm and moist. Insects were common and first reptile Hylonomus appeared. During Permian period climate was arid and varied. Glaciation started in Southern Hemisphere. Ammonites and trilobites extinct. Amphibia declined in number and variety. Mammal-like reptiles appeared. Permian Triassic extinction eliminated 95% marine species. Mesozoic era was the age of reptiles. In a cool but dry subtropical climate, deserts appeared. Earliest ichthyosaurs, sea urchins first appeared. In the Jurassic period, dinosaurs are dominant. Stepping back in time 200 million years ago, when world was ruled by giant reptiles, world was surrounded by giant ferns, towering conifers and lush greens. Massive creatures are dominated on the ground. Stegosaurus, Jurassic giants, had distinctively recognizable with two rows of upright plates that on average were two feet tall and two feet wide, may help ward off predators. They roamed the plains, the place is now North America. They shared their world with fierce Allosaurus and Brachiosaurus in the Jurassic world. in North America, parts of Europe, and possibly even Africa, revealing that this remarkable dinosaur was widespread and successful in its time, leaving a legacy that still fascinates us today. The most striking feature of Stegosaurus is undoubtedly its plates. These large, flat structures are instantly recognizable and have fascinated paleontologists and dinosaur enthusiasts alike for generations. These plates weren't simply attached to its skin, they were bony extensions of the dinosaur's skeleton, growing directly from its vertebrae. 
This unique connection made them an integral part of Stegosaurus' anatomy, not just decorative features. The plates were arranged in two staggered rows, running down the neck, back, and tail, creating a dramatic silhouette that set Stegosaurus apart from other dinosaurs of its time. The largest plates could grow to be over two feet tall. Imagine standing next to one. These plates were truly massive, towering above the back of the animal. But what were these plates for? Scientists have puzzled over this question for decades, and there are several competing theories, each offering a different glimpse into the life of Stegosaurus. Some believe the plates helped Stegosaurus regulate its body temperature, acting like natural radiators to release excess heat or absorb warmth from the sun. Just like an elephant's ears, the plates may have been filled with blood vessels that could release heat. This adaptation would have been especially useful in the fluctuating climates of the Jurassic period. Others think the plates were primarily for display, perhaps to attract mates or intimidate rivals. Their size and arrangement could have made Stegosaurus look even larger and more impressive. Scientists have found fossils of Allosaurus, a large predatory dinosaur that lived alongside Stegosaurus, with puncture wounds that match the size and shape of Stegosaurus tail spikes. It's not hard to imagine Stegosaurus using its tail to defend itself from an attack. Facing a predator like Allosaurus, Stegosaurus could swing its spiked tail with tremendous force, inflicting serious injury. The tail spikes could grow to be over three feet long, making them a weapon no predator would want to encounter. Stegosaurus was one of the very first dinosaurs ever discovered by scientists, with its fossils first unearthed in the rugged landscapes of Colorado way back in the late 1870s. This remarkable find marked the beginning of a new era in paleontology, sparking curiosity and excitement around the world as people began to imagine what these ancient creatures might have looked like. Its unusual appearance, with those iconic towering plates along its back and the formidable spiked tail known as a thagomizer, quickly captured the public imagination. The Tyrannosaurus rex was a powerful hunter. It chased a small velociraptor. The Velociraptor was fast but could not outrun the T-Rex. The T-Rex caught the Velociraptor and ate it. Far away, a herd of Triceratops grazed on ferns. Their massive horns were ready to defend against any danger. Spinosaurus, with its impressive sail-like fin, stomped through the brown dry meadow. The sky above was filled with thick swirling clouds, a strange sight for the dinosaurs. High above the earth, a giant meteor appeared. It was a massive rock from space. The meteor grew larger and larger as it came closer to the Earth. Then with a blinding flash, it crashed. The impact shook the ground. Trees were knocked over. The ground split open. The force of the crash started fires everywhere. The once peaceful meadow was engulfed in flames. The air became filled with smoke and ash. Small feathered dinosaurs called Archaeopteryx tried to fly away. They flapped their wings hard, but the heat and smoke were too much. The Archaeopteryx fell from the sky, unable to escape the inferno. A group of Brachiosaurus with their long necks tried to run, they were too slow. Allosaurus, fierce predators, took advantage of the chaos and attacked the Brachiosaurus. Dinosaurs everywhere were in a panic, they ran, trying to escape the fire and the falling debris. Some headed for the water, hoping to find safety in the depths. In the oceans, Ichthyosaurus, sleek and fast, swam through the water. They were joined by Plesiosaurus with their long necks, hunting for clams and snails. Nothosaurus, with their webbed feet, paddled through the coral reefs. The impact of the meteor had a devastating effect on the planet. The heat from the fires spread across the Earth. The oceans began to warm, becoming too hot for the sea reptiles. The Ichthyosaurus, Plesiosaurus and Nothosaurus soon perished in the increasingly hostile waters. The sky remained dark, filled with ash and smoke, blocking out the sun. Plants died without sunlight. The herbivores, with no food to eat, perished. Soon the carnivores, with no prey to hunt, also died. The age of the dinosaurs, which had lasted for millions of years, came to a sudden and dramatic end. Cretaceous period marked a new beginning of mammals. Tooth bird, dinosaurs both in land or in water became extinct. The fifth extinction wiped out all the giant reptiles. After the Rocky Mountain Revolution, 
Cenozoic era mark abundant presence of mammals with their modern forms. Archaic mammals extinct. During quaternary large mammals extinct like woolly mammoth. Modern mammals including man evolved. Social culture among man developed. If you found this video interesting, please subscribe the channel. Beside that, like, comment and share for the more informative videos in future. Thank you. From Biomass